Here are a few facts that are important to emphasize. First, this means that Robert Mueller's work is done and his investigation now shuts down. Secondly, Mueller has ended his work without issuing any further indictments. The attorney general says tonight that he may be able to start briefing Congress this weekend on what's in the report. 22 months after he was appointed to find out whether anyone in the Trump campaign helped the Russians meddle in the election, tonight Robert Mueller has just turned in the highly anticipated report of his investigation, signaling the end of his work as special counsel. The Justice Department notified the chairman and ranking Democrats on the House and Senate Judiciary Committees, saying simply, Special Counsel Robert S. Mueller III has concluded his investigation. The letter said Congress would be notified as early as this weekend about the main points of Mueller's work. Under the rules governing the special counsel, Mueller submitted his confidential report directly to the Attorney General, William Barr. And now the huge question, how much of it will he reveal given the keen interest from Congress and the public? The rules call for Mueller to issue a bare-bones report, summarizing the cases he took to court and explaining which ones he declined to prosecute. Barr said at his confirmation hearing that he understands the intense interest in what Mueller found. I am going to make as much information available as I can, consistent with the rules and regulations that are part of the special counsel regulations. In fact, those rules don't call for making the report public at all. They say only that the attorney general should notify Congress if he blocked anything the special counsel wanted to do. Democrats in Congress say they'll insist on seeing the whole thing. This is of too great a consequence to the country to be swept under the rug. And so we will use whatever compulsion we can and must to make sure that the public gets the full story. Democrats say they might also try to force Mueller himself to testify about what his investigation concluded. Though Mueller brought charges against six people connected to the Trump campaign, none of them were accused of helping Russia meddle in the election. Among the big questions now, did Mueller reach any conclusions about the nature of Mr. Trump's business connections with the Russians? Will the report say anything about whether the firing of James Comey as FBI director amounted to obstruction of justice? President Trump told Lester that he fired Comey because of the Russian meddling investigation. When I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story. Will Mueller's report say anything about Mr. Trump's involvement in the payment of hush money to two women who claim they had affairs with him, something he has denied? And what will the report say about investigations that will continue into, for example, whether the Trump inaugural committee preserve, protect, and defend illegally accepted foreign contributions? And Pete joins us now. Pete, what happens now? And I think the question everyone is asking is how soon might we know at least some of the details of Mueller's report? At least some, perhaps quite quickly. But all Congress is going to get for now is who was prosecuted and why. And we know he indicted 34 people and perhaps some limited information on who else was investigated and why. Barson is, is in his letter that he will talk to Mueller and the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein to see what else from the report can be made public and given to Congress. And even though Mueller's work is done, other investigations will go on, carried on by U.S. attorneys in New York, Washington, and elsewhere. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.